Welcome back. A state lawmaker says changes he proposed to parole eligibility in Missouri were not intended for a Cole County killer. Now, we told you this week that a group wants Governor Mike Parson to veto a bill that would give people convicted of serious crimes when they were minors a chance at parole. That would include Alyssa Bustamante, a woman that killed nine-year-old Elizabeth Olton in St. Martin's when she was 15. The representative that called for the change says Bustamante deserves to spend more time in prison. Kansas City Area Representative Mark Sharp says he hadn't heard of the Alyssa Bustamante case until I asked him about it. Changes he and the General Assembly agreed on this year would allow her a chance at a parole hearing as soon as 2024. I'm not sure the parole board is very anxious to set a parole hearing for her and, uh, and, and, to, and to give her that leniency because she didn't give that night for parole. The change calls for people convicted of crimes when they were under 18 to get a parole hearing after 15 years behind bars. The group National Organization for Victims of Juvenile Murderers say a parole hearing for Bustamante would harm Elizabeth Olton's family and put people at risk. Sharp says the change was meant to help people like Bobby Bostick, who received a 241-year sentence for robbery in St. Louis when he was 16. The bill says people convicted of first-degree murder wouldn't qualify, but Bustamante pleaded guilty instead to second-degree murder. It's my personal belief she should have received murder one, um, and this language wasn't intended for people like her. It'll be up to a parole board to even set a hearing for Bustamante if this gets passed. NOVJM told me today it has concerns about the bill beyond Bustamante's case, saying that, quote, one sentence should be determined based on the specific facts regarding the crime. Governor Parsons' spokeswoman says the bill is still under review.